Uh, the flooding that has occurred in uh, Allenstown along the South of River has been pretty significant. Uh, we have 101 homes in the uh, flood zone, and we have sustained significant damage uh, to property as well as uh, dislocation of families due to the flooding in 2006 and 2007. Uh, we've also had some uh, minor flooding, uh, four additional minor floods during that same time frame. So it's been pretty significant here. It's certainly made some significant changes down here. I mean, yes, there is a 20-year history of flooding in this area. Since the river changed course, you know, basically abandoning a mile and a half of river channel to create new channel, mm -hmm. and the amount of sediment that has come down, the flooding in this area is significantly worse than it had been in previous years. I mean, water never crossed Route 28 until 2007. In our first flood in 2006, we were very unprepared and we did a very poor job of responding to our citizens. We have since then uh, revamped our emergency operations plan. We've done emergency management exercises, full-scale exercises to practice that. We have an evacuation plan in effect. We've trained our staff in all the facets of, uh, of incident command. And since then, our ability to respond is much more, much more credible than it has been in the past, much more effective. A home that is sub subjected to repetitive flooding it can be uh, emotionally very stressful. In many cases, people are very much attached uh, to their home. Oftentimes, it's a home that they grew up in, and to have it torn down can be a very, very difficult decision uh, for an individual to make. So again, it's, it's in close consultation with the homeowner. We try and decide uh, what's uh, best for the community, uh, what's best for them, what's cost effective. With the buyout program, it's um, voluntary participation by the homeowners and uh, it was uh, fair market value. Um, and this was fair market value uh, pre-event, um, where this, this home was flooded both in the 2006 and 2007 uh, flooding events. The decision in terms of whether we do an acquisition demolition, acquisition relocation, or an elevation, uh, it really is evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis in consultation uh, with the homeowner. Obviously, if you can get folks out of harm's way, that, that's the most effective way and tends to be the most cost-effective way of doing that. In terms of why we like to do um, acquisitions, um, it's because it's a permanent solution. It re completely removes the property uh, from the special flood hazard area and turns that area back into open space, um, allowing the, the, the floodplain to function uh, without obstructions. What happens is, is there's a deed restriction put on the land. It prohibits uh, that site from uh, having structures placed on it in the future, therefore forcing the property to remain as open space you know, virtually in perpetuity.